What's going on? So good to see you. Um, I hope you have been enjoying uh, the videos on YouTube. I hope you've been enjoying uh, our Christmas series. Uh, week one, we talked about our future fears through the lens of Jesus entering into the world. Week two, last week, we talked about our present pain in, uh, through the lens of Jesus entering into the world. And then today, we start our third and final part on um, our past issues through Jesus, uh, through the lens of Jesus entering into the world. Uh, with, with the focusing on Genesis and the fall of man and how relationships, because of Adam and Eve sinning, uh, how those relationships have been fractured and have been broken. But the story of man in Genesis is the prologue of the Christmas story and the need for the Christmas story. So the Christmas story is God's plan on uh, getting us back into relationship with him. And it's such a beautiful thing because what happened in two, two relationships, two sets of relationships were broken whenever Adam and Eve sinned. Number one, between God and man. And then the second one is between man and woman, uh, that being Adam and Eve. Uh, so God knew this was gonna happen. He knew uh, before time began, he's always known because uh, he is omniscient, he's all-knowing. You cannot try to fathom that. It is so crazy how God has known uh, all time. Uh, he's, he's never not known. It's just, that's crazy to me, that thought. But Genesis is God peeling the curtain back and showing us as humanity through the word uh, that his, uh, what his plan of reconciliation is. And that is the Christmas story. So I love that word reconcile. Uh, someone had to, to pay the debt that was incurred because of Adam and Eve. But that the plan was, was Jesus. God's plan of reconciliation is Jesus. In fact, the moment that you, you uh, believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and you called upon his name, the Bible says that you have now been enlisted into the ministry of reconciliation. And I wanna to talk to you real quick about reconciliation. Uh, Paul, got, uh, he goes through just some really cool concept of, of reconciliation. In 2 Corinthians 5, 16 through 20, it says from now on, uh, that's important because prior, he did not believe what he's about to tell us he believes. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh. And this is a, this is a cool perspective change. So we don't look at or interpret someone according to the flesh. Um, and the flesh just uh, strictly means that it's the body, so our flesh, my skin, um, or the earthly nature of man apart from divine influence, and therefore prone to sin and opposed to God. So when we talk about the flesh, that's what that means. It is our nature of man apart from divine influence. And so this is funny. He even says, even though once regarded Christ according to the flesh, he says, we regard him thus no longer. Good call, Paul. Way to go, man. Uh, and so here, here's the, the, what Paul talks about, the ministry of reconciliation. He says, therefore, if anyone, anyone is in Christ is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That's the Christmas story. God reconciled himself to us through Christ. And then uh, because we are sons and daughters of Jesus, we now have the burden and the honor of the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciled the world to himself not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting us to the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ. God making his appeal through us, we implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. When we call upon the name of the Lord and believe in our hearts, we are saved. What happens whenever we get saved, the Holy Spirit enters into our heart um, and and conviction happens. Things that we loved of the world and of the flesh, we no longer uh, love. There is a temptation to go back to those things. However, there's a, uh, a draw 
uh, of us to, to come back to Jesus, to reconcile ourselves back to God. Uh, and so we are then entrusted with the message of reconciliation. The Christmas story is the message of reconciliation. Um, a couple of years back, I got to reconcile with my sister. My sister, um, who I love dearly, had been in drugs and alcohol and um, inappropriate relationships. And um, there was a moment where God called her back and she mended through the Holy Spirit our relationship. And now she's one of my best friends. She has an amazing husband, uh, JJ. I love them dearly. Um, I'm so thankful for the message of Jesus and the story of Christmas. Enjoy uh, Christmas break and I hope you get to make it out to a candlelight wherever your campus is. Love you.